Hi, hello, welcome to a new chess video. In this video I will present this legendary game, chess game played by um, young international masters and he played against a grown master from Serbia and he seems um, top in top 1000 in the world. And let me introduce you the game. So this is uh, uh, this is the first move, and Yas um, Khan is with white pieces, and uh, his opponent, Grandmaster opponent, is with black pieces, and he started with d4, uh, d4, then knight, and then pin shadow bishop. I guess at some point, other bishop also pin shadow or not not really and then it seems a normal game then the white has advantage in the center and unfortunately there is no there is no stop push help so and you can, we cannot see but I think it, the white's a slightly edge like normally because and the, the knight a6 sort of a weird move because unexpected move and uh, hard to see how it can be used and it can be taken by bishop in the future maybe if this bishop the black bishop goes somewhere else but it is uh, it's better than on b8 it, it doesn't block the rooks and um, you know so you can play like bishop b7 i guess so it's not a big problem and uh, once so and if he can play maybe in the future like knight b4 and that that can be useful there and uh, and he played knight h3 so the after knight h3 he can play like g5 or something and he took it so then the knight has no protection there and he will take it too but he cannot after that he cannot take it because the queen can take it so that so if he takes it, the bishop with this pawn instead he cannot castle this side so and uh, so if he take with this pawn he cannot castle this side and uh, this knight will go go somewhere else maybe to B4, not B4, B4 can be trappy I guess, has to go back like C7, and uh, still, still I think the position is fine, because after C7 I think the knight is not at the best place, so still, but, uh, but here why the white bishop has some sort of an advantage here, that can pressure, pressure the opponent. And he played the knight maneuver to eight e e e eight. So the idea is maybe to to c seven to kick this bishop, annoying bishop, away. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see if, if he can manage. So since the knight is not protecting, not there, then the white is trying his chance to attack this queen. And then after after this, some some don't. Um, recommend this move because um, once you played it, then the king has no protection here. It can be checked, and the king's safety is the most important. And if he doesn't play, the black queen seems can check too. This is also sort of dangerous. So you're, the king is in the middle of the board, in the middle of the not a board, sorry. Uh, and then, yeah, not bad, I guess, this power move is acceptable. And then the, this f5, f5, I think the, the meaning is he wants to keep the king, he wants white king to be exposed before the castling. So, and then he realized, like, okay, god, I should castle or something, and kept white castled and take and take 
sorry crap and so that was a castle and then take so he could take with the other pawn but he he decided not to take with this and he take with this bishop and the idea is if you take with your queen this bishop has no defender this f4 bishop has no defender so the rook can take it and this rook will be very active in this area like you can attack the king side too with the queen so that will be and will be very active so he has to do something to stop but so the the, the black bishop can go back to f6 so and then so in this moment white is losing white losing a pawn but white seems active sort of and then white pieces are more coordinated and like so two bishop let's say, for example two bishop is uh, controlling some scars in the opponent place and this rook is active so I think if we check the analysis I think the white is winning like even down a piece and so that black should immediately exchange pieces and join like like endgame should come to make it easier for black so and then bishop b7 was played and the idea is that you know this <coughs> rook and he's like this this piece is sort of hanging there but now maybe after bishop c6 he can control it but there's another thing like what if he takes it and this pawn will be isolated sort of so the but he will take it after the rook c8 i guess that's the idea and then took it took it and he still so he didn't take it interesting so then maybe there is a trap i didn't i don't so once he take it maybe the rook e8 is no maybe he will take this i don't know so but this is also strong move but so this is another thing like why he played this to to get rid of this pin to play the knight freely but like to work that's strange and okay so you reached your goal then then he played this pawn and rook e6 was played interesting so the rook e6 is protecting this pawn but I think white should be more independent from the protecting the but it's almost endgame so white should be careful anyway mm. and then so the idea is he distracted this bishop because he wants his knight to be on e4 so he sacrificed this pawn for this and then white is still it's equal white is not really losing and black is definitely winning in this position and it's like black white pieces are so close to checkmate or something but black can easily defend this um, infiltration of queen so for example queen can try to infiltrate through b2 but there is like d4 or something so after d4 the black pieces the black pawn structure seems very strong and then this pawn seems not very promising there and you can take it later easily but queen d3 so the white is looking for some tactics to stop this because white is probably looking forward to take this knight and then black wants to exchange the pieces and end game easily this is the and this is the most brilliant move here in this game and it makes the game legendary because so this so once you take it with your rook he will take your knight and you cannot take with the pawn because you, he will take your queen so once you and you can also cannot take uh, with your queen too so that's why that's brilliant so that he decided to take with um, with this piece and then he lost this 
knight and after losing the knight then there's no point of endgame and then this tactics can easily checkmate checkmate uh, him so that's a really indeed brilliant chess game and uh, they really it, it is really quite interesting and it seems there is no obvious mistake or inaccuracy but that, that, that you can follow the and see the style of the players and that's all i want to say thanks for watching this video and see you